Hi, Lindsay. It is Tuesday, June 14th. <coughs> I inhaled my own spit and started choking about 10 minutes ago, and for some reason I'm still coughing. In your last video, you talked about a couple of things that I wanted to also talk about. Um, the first thing is the butterfly effect. Uh, you said it was a butterfly flaps its wings and then somewhere else in the country a tornado happens. Technically, not the same thing. Well, it's the same concept, but it's not what the butterfly effect is actually like the definition. It's the concept that a, uh, a butterfly flaps its wings in like Africa and halfway around the world a hurricane happens. That's the phone. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, so the whole idea is like with the movie is that little things that happen in your past shape your future. So where he like goes back in the memories and whatever, like, because he can do that apparently. If he changes something, it drastically affects his future. Like, he winds up with no limbs at one point. Yeah, that movie is really trippy, also, by the way. I can't believe they made sequels. Like, they should never have made sequels. The first movie was enough. They didn't need to make sequels. Hate sequels! I had that song Animal stuck in my head, and it's a little annoying because I don't know many of the words. Uh oh, I want some more. I don't even know if those are the real words. What are you waiting for? Take a bite of my heart tonight. The other thing you talked about was tattoos, which are a thing that we both are interested in. Um, you far more than me. Uh, we both have two, I believe. Yeah, we both have two. Uh, but mine are much smaller and less intricate or colorful than yours are. I have the Eye of Ra on my shoulder. And I have this one on my wrist, which is Chinese for uh, chaos or primordial chaos or in Chinese Hundun um, which is the god of uh, sort of like the world egg um, he was this big egg thing um, that created the world and then the other gods were saying you need a face and so they carved a face into him and in doing so it killed him and the whole lesson is that you can't bring order to chaos because they just don't mesh and I like the story, and I like the symbols, and I like chaos, so I got the tattoo. Um, at least that's what I assume it says. I did a lot of research trying to make sure, but I still am very self-conscious whenever I see Chinese people and they can see my tattoo because I'm worried that it actually says, like, grapefruit or something. There are other ones that I want to get at some point. Like, I want to get order on this side in Chinese. Um, although not necessarily in Chinese because I'm willing to combine other ideas for tattoos so that I don't have to get, like, 12. Um, I also want to get the, uh, of the Mobius, which is, like, the infinity symbol in a very stretched out version so it's, like, really long and skinny on my forearm right across. But I think... I think Polly Perrette, who plays Abby on NCIS, actually has that tattoo. I can't remember if she does or not, but I feel like I've seen it before and that's why I want it. And I don't want to get the same tattoo as a famous person as much as I might want the tattoo. And the last one I want to get is an Ouroboros, which is the um, mythical symbol or mythical beast of a snake or a dragon eating its tail. And it was first described by Plato uh, in The Republic as being the perfect beast because it's entirely self-sufficient. But I'm willing to combine that one with either the Order one, so it's just that, or it, it being an Ouroboros that's in a Mobius shape and putting that here. That, that might actually work. I don't know. I'm willing to hear your thoughts on the subject, though. I started working at my old job, and they now have mandatory drug tests. So that's where I get to go tomorrow to get my mandatory drug test. Bye.